hey guys welcome back to my channel real quick i know a long time ago i have posted a video about my pomeranian and the other day long time ago i had posted that he wasn't moving and it took me a while to take him to the vet and i've gotten by the time i took him to the vet they had found this was during covid they have found that he had a dislocated disc on him and they did x-rays on him i guess he didn't like the x-rays too much because i wasn't allowed to go inside so they did x-rays on him and they said they had found a dislocated disc meaning i needed to be careful with him because he could probably stop walking or something because his back he was like real stiff and everything and he wasn't able to walk or anything like that so i did take him to the vet this was a long i think this was like what a year ago now so i took him this year they found that his blood count was low and they said that he's got more white cells than he does his blood cells so i was only to take him i was only able to take him that one time it costed me almost $500 that I'm still paying back for him. They gave me medications and they told me in order for him to re-get his shots, he needed to get fat. So I've been trying dog foods. He hasn't been pooping like he's supposed to, but I've been giving him wet dog food because his teeth are bad. So he's been eating wet dog food and he's been eating dry dog food and i noticed he's been getting heavy but i could still kind of feel his bones in the back so he still needs to get a little fattening up before i can give him his other shots his rabies shots so that he can get it for this year so but he's been doing pretty good he's been eating the wet food pretty good he's been eating you know i'm waiting for him to gain some weight before i can go and take him to get his shots but he's been doing pretty good now as a as a matter of fact, I have him right here. So he's been he's been doing pretty good with his dog food, making sure he's eating all his dog food so I can get his shots. So hopefully he's gonna also be if he's doing pretty good, he's gonna also be on them t-shirts that I've been talking about that I wanted to put on my dogs. I wanted to put um, t-shirts, their, you know, their faces on the t-shirts. So he's been doing pretty good. He's got something on his fur though. Looks like a little black thing or something on his shirt, on his fur. But I've been wanting to put him on the t-shirts. He's right here with his ears. His ears are here. They're not going nowhere, but I've been giving him shaves. I've been shaving him and stuff like that and giving him a bath. But he's going to be on the t-shirts as well, along with my other two chihuahuas. And I know I just posted one of my chihuahuas that just passed away six months ago. And the reason why I posted that and I put the song, Mia! The reason why I did that because um, she literally belonged to my mother. But my mother couldn't care for her no more, so... My mom also passed away in January 10th. My father passed away in... My mother was January 10th of 2024. My father passed away... Mia! She's eating the battery thing. Um, One of my chihuahuas keeps chewing on the, on the case of the battery. So that's why I keep yelling out her name. But anyways, my mother passed away in January 10th, which is in 24 of this year. My father passed away in 23 of last year. Um, he's, I think he was in March or in May of 23. Mia! And then, I don't know how many times I have to keep yelling out her name so we can stop eating the battery case. There's nothing in it. It's just the battery case that she's trying to chew on. But, yeah, other than that, you know, she belonged to my mom. So, she passed away. So she's no longer with us, but I, I 
had another chihuahua, which was a brown chihuahua. She passed away. Like, Mia! Again! I'm going to have to shorten your leash so I can stop calling your name. So, I'm going to have to end the video here because she keeps trying to get a hold of that case. But my other chihuahua, I had two chihuahuas that passed away. And I gained two chihuahuas, which I got in two chihuahuas. If you guys have not noticed, there has been overflows of animals at the at the shelters. So they can't take any more animals because not a lot of people are bringing them home. So you guys need to like go out and adopt these animals. If Even if you don't like them. If you don't like them, that's fine. But people that do like them wants to adopt them. Even if you did have an animal that passed away, you can take in another animal just to help out with these animals even getting killed. I mean, a lot of these animals are being put down because no one is taking care. You know, they don't want to bring in an animal. But if you're a, if you're a dog lover cat lover, whatever, if your animal passed away, take in another animal because, you know, we don't want these animals to be um, put down to die because, you know, nobody won't take them in. I would take them in. I already lost two animals. A lady that drove by my house was looking for a dog because she said the shelters are too expensive. And, but she's sitting here wanting to pay $400 just to take somebody else's dog. You don't want to do that. If you want a dog, go get it at the shelter. Because, you know, it doesn't make sense if you're going to go out and try to find a dog that somebody already owns. And uh, there is people that do give them away. There's puppies that are give, that are being given away. You just have to find it. But other than that, you know, just... If you have an animal and she passed or he passed away, you can take in another pet. I mean, that's going to replace your old dog, but not replace your old dog. But at least, you know, you have pictures of her. She's up on your wall. I actually have two of my chihuahuas that were cremated and I have it there. But, you know, if my other dogs pass away, I'm going to let their ashes go. You can make, you can, there's a place where you can let their ashes go. And, you know, you don't have to keep the ashes. You can let their ashes go and then just go take in some more pets. Um, like I did. I took in two more chihuahuas because, you know, I didn't want them to go to a shelter just to go be put down. You don't want to do that. So, you know, just take them in if you have to. If you don't even know you lost your dog, just take them in. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the video because, you know, I, she keeps chewing on that battery case. But, I'm going to let you guys go. These are my, this is what, this is my Bomberanian. And that's my other Chihuahua right there. Let me see if you can see her. She's right there, my other Chihuahua. And the one that's chewing on the battery, she's actually right here. This is Mia, the one that keeps chewing on the battery case, which I am going to remove her. But without further ado, guys, I will see you guys on my next channel. Hopefully, I will have something different. And you guys have a blessed day. Have a wonderful day. You guys enjoy yourself. Enjoy the weather. Hopefully, we will be in Halloween, Christmas, so we still got a long way, what, six months maybe? And I will see you guys on my next channel later. Bye.